Well, after some technical difficulties, we lost the first mild puzzling of Ben's playthrough of Devolverland Expo, um, which is the new uh, game, first-person marketing experience from uh, Devolver Digital uh, that they released after the Devolver Direct. Uh, I'm here on the bottom, uh, and joined by Lucy on the top, and Ben, who's what? at the unfortunately non-inverted controls in the middle. No, yeah, it's, it's a chore. As is the motion blur. <laughs> oh. Yes. Eeps. Um, right, so basically, you're in the E3 Expo by yourself when there are patrolling robots, which you can shoot with your beanbag, t shirt gun thing. Yep, we've uh, been to the carrion booth, which was basically. I think it's the only one so far, isn't it? No! Yeah. Ah! <laughs> Lame. And we're back in here again. Oh, um, yeah, we just bought a trailer for Carrion. Yeah. Yeah, basically, you go into the booth and then you can interact with the screen and that shows you the trailer that was also on the direct, which is much better than the bit of the direct I saw, which had a bunch of bad acting. So I appreciate a different way to get all of the trailers. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Like, I've never really liked how. I like the, they're over the top. I like the company's over the topness, but the persona of Devolver is sometimes a little much. Uh, yeah. And this, oh, there was a use there. I don't know if you saw it. What was that? Yeah. Yeah, buy those chairs. Oh shit. Aha! Stuck. These robots are really bad at their job. Mm. Yes. Uh, so now we're in Weird, Weird West. Biggest mysteries yeah. of the Weird West. Oh, there we go. This is Rafael Colantonio, creative director and president of Warfi Studios. Did we see I'm one for Weird West to tell you about on the direct? Uh, I didn't watch the whole thing, so I didn't know. know. Well, I don't think we did. But, but this cool. is being Weird West is an action RPG set in fantasy Yeah, it's been in my wish list for a little while, I think. Yeah, mine too. I mean, you play through the adventures of five I've been that have tempted by games like Desperados 3 one of the for the same reason I'm tempted by this. I kind of like sort of non-accurate western While we described Weird West as an action RPG, setting. some would actually refer to the game as an immersive sim. There are many elements that set mm, Weird West sim, apart maybe. from any other action RPG I mean, that, there, no, this and looks I would like love a to show you a few examples now. SRPG, ARPG. Switch. Yeah. I mean, Desperado is pretty kind of like the immersive nature of Weird so. West. Yeah. The bulk of the team is composed of co-creators of Dishonored and Prey, so simulation mm. is like a religion to Pigman. us. Pigman, I like that. It is in our DNA <laughs> to let the players play the game. Pigman in like Mutant Year Zero. Weird West is designed. Yeah, there was. Yeah. Accommodates <laughs> many That's Desperado's meet many players. Mutant Year Zero. Whether you like combat yeah. or trickery or stealth. Or a mix of all of that, you'll enjoy experimenting with the tools the game offers in a system rich oh, he's on fire. simulated world. Oh no. Next yeah, right. the setting and visual direction. The setting is Oh you you guessed it. It's an opportunity for us to explore a genre that has been kept underground. And we're excited about bringing our own take on it. As far as the visuals, we're going for a mix of 3D with hand-drawn textures and uncommon it, palettes. That it does look nice. Yeah, I, I do like the sort of hand-drawn cell world shade to be instantly sort of outline. Recognizable and convey the mystery that is so important to the experience. I think so I prefer like the, the like Desperado is more realistic. Tilt okay. Shift look, now, let's this talk is, about how nice. scripted versus how dynamic It's almost like with that, that, that sort of cell shading, but it has a, a borderlands y sort of vibe to it, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's a good outside point, of the main path, make Which I actually think looks better from afar, but like when it gets closer to which bases creates and stuff, it makes and it kind of look a more bland, because I don't think each there's enough of the hmm. so like, For example, Whoa! Why, oh, let's say you why is she shooting those ladies? While vendetta started brutal. The survivor will throw a vendetta at you, and chances are, They'll ambush you later when you expect it the least. There she comes. This participates to the feeling of a very tailored experience per player. Finally, one more thing I wanted to mention Brutal. is that your actions are permanent in Weird West. 
while you may resurrect when killed, your companion won't resurrect if you did not have a chance to revive them on time. Mm. And whatever choices you've made... It's nice that they're throwing in actual so choices and consequence and for it, rather than just, you know, I'm sure you can save scum and stuff. But. By coming back in time with a simple game reload. Yeah, I mean, it looks like you've got we like, think a it is passive a and active abilities, like that lucky dodge is a passive one. Mm. Uh, the big mauled creature. Today. We have a few more surprises that I can't wait to talk about, but we're keeping some of these for later. I hope you enjoyed what you saw. And please, stay tuned. It'll be interesting to see if the evolution of this next year for Devolver and their director, whatever they're going to do, is actual demos. This is Rafael Colantonio, creative director and president of World To be able to play. Marketing objective <laughs> Random, random band? Like? Oh no, that's one of the, uh, that's Raphael. Oh, okay, okay. How is it? Yeah. He's clearly a very talented man. He's just getting his fingers in all those pies. <laughs> <laughs> Where's me collectible? Why do we describe Weird Come on. West as an action RPG? Some would actually refer not here. to the games that are used. Pigmans do not go down. Right, ooh, shh. It did say to leave. Oh, that's over here, isn't it? Actually leaving. How do I miss? Melee it, melee it. Oh. Oh, uh -oh. A puzzle. Yay! First time. <laughs> oh, different robots. Okay. Need to use that. God, that that Wait. motion blur still slays me though. <laughs> Don't you need to use that thing over there? The, the, the elevating thing? Yes, yeah. Just seeing if the that, thing that door was... Jack? <laughs> thing? Skyjack? The platform lift? Yeah, yeah, that thing. The thing that's flashing. The Skyjack. Isn't it called Skyjack? Or is that the name of some shitty movie from the mid <laughs> 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 Why not both that gift? Yeah. <laughs> oh, where did that robot go? Yeah, of course it's locked. Everyone's locked. Oh. There we go. Two or four for unannounced game one. I mean, those. that's probably the thing I'm super, the most curious about is what, mm. like, if you get all four of those things, what happens? Um, is it just a way of, like, hey, these are a couple of games that you, we didn't have time to put into the direct, so yeah. here's, like, a um, mini trailer. I'm really looking forward to the disc room game. Oh. I hope it's just like buzz saws. Guessing out those here. will hurt you. I would think so. I think if you go to the left. Oh, maybe not. Uh, oh, no, no. Did I stand up too early, yeah, perhaps? I think you got zapped. I also like how that is oh. busted. Like, hey. Slide. Oh. Oh, yeah. No, I didn't mean to slide. This is the downfall. This is yeah. this is my downfall. I won't be able to. Yeah, we're just, gonna, we're just gonna stay here for a half hour and talk about yeah. Devolver. I think it's Laser better beams. if you go on the other. Side. Yeah, or just run right through. There we go. Yeah. No, don't no flash. Right, yeah. just just get get it done. Oh, do yeah, man. <laughs> uh, it's gonna catch me. Oh, what's on the? I got a lot of locked door, of course. Oh. Where are the bus saws? That's what I want for like the disc. What is it? Disc world? Ooh, skills. Hey, hey. This game. Are you gonna jump? Yeah, I was gonna try and slide to through, but I don't think it's gonna go low enough. Who knows? Oh, yeah. Nah. Oh. Oh, oh not here. Really? really? Yeah, just run right underneath. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we were saying earlier about the checkpointing, weren't we? Yeah. For mm. how we thought it was. <laughs> okay. This is not when you want bad checkpointing when they don't even have any ads in your face that you have to see over and over. <laughs> what if you went to the exit instead? 
It doesn't open and it's locked. Well, this is just like a real expo where you have to like dodge no all the... No way did uh, I hit that. All the... No I way. think you have really lanky legs, man. Oh, is this your so experience like of an expo, what? Lucy, is it? Really? Just run. I mean, no, don't. <laughs> just run and slide. <laughs> Go! Oh, I, I was going to run, but I was crouched, so it wouldn't let me. <laughs> that was perfect timing, it could have been. Your run crouch. What if you shoot the lasers with a beanbag? <laughs> Yeah, because how the hell do you get through that last one? I think you have to jump. Is... You have to jump. Yeah. You have to jump on when it's on the way up, presumably. Yeah. Mm, I'm too big to jump. Yeah. Um, I also, yeah, maybe it is just slide at the exact like apex. But this is uh, there's a thing about game design on like that, like this is a very frustrating part because of the design of where the checkpoint is, right? Because it gives you familiarity with this, but then it gives you the wrinkle on the last one. But you can't try and attune yourself to, okay, so what is this new wrinkle trying to get me to do? Because every time you die, you're four puzzle pieces back. Mm. So then you're like, right, I have to make sure I, I, I'm, I reattune to this, and then I repeat myself three times. So now my mindset is this, you know, very different game, uh, gameplay mechanic, with like, in the sense of, so you can jump over that one. I got a slide, surely. Ah. You can't go through any of those doors. Hey! Ah. Well done, Lucy. Yeah, Lucy. I was like, that's, that's not Hang giving on. you enough. It's just a. I could use the toilet. Can you? Bring in you the toilet. Jump up. Oh, can you make it? Ah. <laughs> can you make it talk to you? Is what I was about to say, and then it literally <laughs> had a speech bubble. Kind of amazing. <laughs> Anything else in there? Is there a vent at the top or anything? Control? Why is there a moon on the floor? Yeah, look up. Um, I like a, a, a building in the background. Yeah. They had a different skybox there. Just be like, yeah, just put it in the game. It's fine. What if you look up for, in the stall? Nope. No, I think I'm going to have to do it. Well, that was... Yeah, flush yourself. Yeah. Oh, pipe. Can you shoot that mirror? I don't know. What? Something there. Oh, shoot the. Ah, uh, hang on, hang on. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. Lucy again yeah, with, the, with the big tricks. Slash <laughs> knowledge of video games. <laughs> <laughs> Come and watch us every week <laughs> while we determine what is good game. Uh oh, what's gonna happen now? Hmm. Okay, so it's, it's made by crazy. Flying Wild Hog. Yeah, so that's the team that does. Whatchamacallit? Um, uh. the, the big title that they opened the thing with. Shadow... Shadow Warrior. Yeah, Warrior. Shadow Warrior mm. 3. Thank you. Okay. Well, that makes sense. Yeah, first person. Ooh, turn them all off. What does that say? Uh, something 2020? It says pass 1, 2, 3, 4, and now it says 2020. But there are... Um... Um... The... Hmm? Oh, I think you solved the puzzle. Yeah, stop the, the puzzle. stop the fan. No collectibles hiding away there. And you thought you were a big fan of Devolver Digital. <laughs> God. <laughs> <laughs> um, right. Wait, wait. Can you? Does it? Does the ammo stay when you shoot the ground? Like, can you look at it closely? Or does it just disappear? Okay. Mm -hmm. well, that one went. Through. There it is. Oh, just Ooh, a devolver, and like then a wow, it gets. Rubber bullet. 
I'm not mm. sure where we will it. And then it turns I into a grain of rice. Oh shit! What? The screen started. Everything started shaking. Oh, I couldn't tell. I thought that was just motion blur. Uh, it called you a rat, did it? It did call me a rat. Uh, you a dirty are a rat. Thing in a cage. <laughs> Full of rage. Yeah, despite all your rage. Um, it's gonna make me fall through there, isn't it? Yeah, of course it is. Yeah, you made it. Ooh. Inspect the glove of power. Mark two. Oh look. What's that I like show? how I'm so dumb that I, I see M MKII and I think Mortal Kombat two. Oh, I might have to turn off them lasers, but. Yeah. Oh, but there's you can also explore the light bound booth or the oh, light bound. I don't remember that. Yes, hmm. I will, man. Hmm. So I think I've got to explore the booths first, I guess. Mm -hmm. Oh, light bound. Oh, Get it? No, oh, I missed it. I missed it. I think we probably have to watch a trailer. There we go. Mm -hmm. Found all collectibles from unannounced game one. Okay, you gonna tell us what it is? Oh, okay, so this is what was this? Polina? This is Blightbound. Blightbound, a cooperative dungeon crawler that tasks three heroes to venture down from oh, their mountain three by, refuge not a four by. to face well, the abominations of the Blight. A mysterious and corrupting fog that enshrouds the land. Again, I like this art style, not so much the game itself. One of three yeah. Warrior, it's like... Titan's might. Assassin. Let me at him. Yeah. Zombie it's very close to the western horde of like, monstrous it's just like tilt the camera down, make people a little more cartoony, but still each embellish their outline. Like a specific role on the team to overcome mounting odds. Zombie like clever puzzles. Yeah. Yeah. Their ultimate abilities to unleash. Yeah. It also had that like kind of this kind of art style through three gameplay. Each oh, Again, it's interesting they've gone with sort of that thick black line cartoony for the characters, but actually the environments are a little more soft. Yeah, that's true. It does mean that like, it's very clear what's us right Yes. Okay, I mean, it looks interesting. Yeah, I mean, I haven't found a dungeon crawler that I've really enjoyed in a while, though I think part of it is I don't have, um, I haven't played a Dungeon, a dungeon Crawler online crawler with someone in a long time, I think that's where these games are sell. Yeah, absolutely. Oh. Mm. Look at these guys. Yeah, this was weird, this announcement, because when they put up like the title card at the end for this game, it looked like it said it's available now. Oh, did it? And it's like, no, um, I think like a demo is available now. It was really confusing, like so many articles reported like, yeah, it's available now, and then like, update, no, it's not. <laughs> Is this the one on the Switch and the Xbox? I think it's just Switch and PC. Just switch PC, right? Mm. Polia is an action adventure game that takes place in the land of Terraphage. Oh. A lost world bit more chat. Hidden creatures, mm. vast runes, deep caverns, and rainforests. Yeah, it's weird how Devolver have like deals with like Sony and you Xbox are and Switch, and, like up. different so, games come to different platforms. Yeah, like, mm. like, like, we will do exclusives for everyone. Them to a safe mm. return yeah. to their homeland. <laughs> Except PC. Now, Everyone on PC gets everything. Yeah, yeah. They just to buy a PC, basically. Yep. Power. It awakens ancient so, enemies who slumber in the depths of terror fish. It, like, for lo-fi pseudo 16-bit, but this is, like, just... I'd like to introduce the world to Olier. No? Five, no, I don't know why. There's a, there's a lot going on. Stream. This is more like 8-bit. You will be yeah, able to maybe different islands on your search for a way out. You will travel through jungles and caverns. Oh, I like that. It's not sort of like a linear. 
uh, set of levels new you've got some and new opportunities for you on your quest to escape this shadowy land next combat combat is at the forefront of Olia, with visceral systems that challenge the way you think about space i like the little harpoon that you can happen. Used and to move around. Yeah, that's combat with minions spawned from the darkness. Only oh, call that one. And Danny magic hats give you additional power, including dashing Ooh, and wall jumping, spitting favorite. acid, and controlling and generating electricity. Oh, Odin's harpoon. Battle sequence by rethinking movement through a maze-like world. There are five major boss battles in Olia. Each one introduces a new character's story, as well as new combat mechanics. Five bosses sounds like it might be not short, but you know, reasonable. To explore, yeah, and new in its length. To unlock. Yeah, I think we're all on board with games not overstaying the welcome, so that's good. Yeah, absolutely. I think previews are up for this game. Hmm. I don't know, I'll pay attention to it when it comes out, see what the reviews are like. Yeah. Well, yeah, is an experience we fought ourselves into. Will you lead Faraday, master the harpoon, save the castaways, and solve the mystery that surrounds Olia? I imagine people will, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and that's Olia, and I guess now I can get Here's the book. Welcome to studio from Kyoto, Japan. Uh, can you? Yeah, get the glove. The glove. I mean, the thing, the shield's mm. still up. Come on, give us an objective game. Don't know. Can I get over these? No, so I can't go that way. Still can't get the glove, though. Hmm. Um, there's like light coming in and light going out. Oh, yeah. Oh, so hang on, blue ones. I've got to clearly look at some more stuff, haven't I? I, I mean, follow the red lines. To bring up that this is probably one of the neatest ways of like seeing everything some um, company has to offer. Yeah. yeah. Like, why? As in, um, we might like like I might not have sat through the, all of the trailers if I was doing this by myself without you know um, but uh, I could easily see say someone who sort of who would like you know generally or see enough of it they'd be like cool this is a game I might track versus mm. like a lot of times people don't want to do um, uh, watch an hour 45 minutes of like people talking about games like I kind of just want to see seven trailers or a couple trailers that I'm interested in but the whole point of the directs is getting people to see the ones you might not have thought of or heard of yet and yeah. this is a nice way of getting people to interactively sort of have to bump into them but can easily walk away without wasting their time like you could probably speed run through this and watch the couple trailers you want but you'd have to see at least the beginning of the other trailers mm. And turn the music down a little bit because it's. I think it's a really neat thing. And it's it, it's cool for um, Devolver as well, because they can kind of um, say, you know, if we had a convention hall, this is what we would set up. Like this is our ideal sort of. Uh... If they had um, millions and millions of. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> if they had that Sony or, or Microsoft money. It was good. Okay, so this is just the trailer that was shown, I think. Of Serious Sam? Of this Serious Sam? Hmm. I've never played a Serious Sam game, so... Oh, I played Serious Sam years and years and years ago. It does look sort of just frantic, doesn't it? Yeah. Definitely got something of the... Um, like quake about it. Mm. Mm, just yeah. that non non zoom in, just run and gun. Oh yeah, the the whole point is it's like run and gun frenetic. Yeah. Big stupid guns. And metal. 
<laughs> yeah, I mean, it's interesting because the last few Serious Sam games have been um, all VR stuff. Like, they kind of bet hard. Oh, have they? Yeah, they've got like four or five, I think. Mm. Serious Sam, VR, first wave, second wave, you know, all those weird names. Yeah. So, wait, so you're in a different hall now, right? So, did you miss the glow? No, no, I just walked through a door. Yeah, yeah um, above, if, above the glove. If the glove, because um, it wasn't an, it was an optional side quest thing. It was. Uh, I don't think it is an optional side quest thing. Um, well, just because the, all the mainline ones are like put on the screen and left on the screen. Right? Am I go through his belly? No. Um, yeah, it did disappear, but I think that's because it was basically saying I have to go and do a load of stuff. Mm. Um, and I think part of that is to do with having to see everything. Yeah. And just everything else has sort of been do the haul, move on. But it's not a big deal. So I just walked around the back of everything rather than seeing actual things. Big dragon. I mean, that's reasonable. So I've still got to do. Four guys. And Shadow Warrior 3. Oh, look at this. What's this? So. Something for you to take a picture of. Uh -huh. <laughs> Photo mode. Oh shit, what's going on now? Oh, is that a little platforming? Hey! This very much reminds me of like Takeshi's Castle. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, look at that. <laughs> This is just fun. Yeah. Let's have a look. Is it the trailer or chat? Again, I've seen I've seen trailers for this game. I think it was in the state of play one month, wasn't it, for, for yeah. PlayStation? No, yeah, this is the one that Shuhei introed as well, wasn't it? Yeah. Talking about them eating each other and stuff like that. <laughs> It's good. I like yeah. how develop how Devolver have got the clout to get Shuhei and, and Phil and yeah. you know people like that. They had Jeff on as well, didn't they? Jeff mm -hmm. Keeley. Yeah. Yeah, this is a total wipeout. Yeah. Geshi's Castle thing. <laughs> it looks fun. Yeah. I wonder how quickly it would get tired and old. Though. Well, it seems like there's like different modes. Which is good, because if it was just like a uh, battle royale, mm. that would probably be kind of boring. But like there was that whole pick up the eggs bit of the trailer, it seemed yeah. to indicate something else. Three or four? I thought it was on four or four. Different game? How many un uh, unannounced games are you tracking? Uh, well, it said two. I've done. You, you oh shit! Have I one. missed. Oh, that's Shadow Warrior. I, yeah, I finished one. I think there was only there was only two. Yeah. Okay. Well, maybe there are three. Uh, maybe can you... they didn't have a disc room trailer in the thing he did that. They did well, not. Maybe. maybe... Yeah. That's the game. On... I mean, I played the demo for that, and it's fun. Because it's not an unannounced game, is it, Discord? No, it's made by the people who made Minute. Oh, oh it will let me go in. Yeah. Oh, cool. I guess you can watch the trailer. Let's have a look at Discord. Here, it's 2089. All those scientists. It looks what as hell. It looks white as hell. Addictive. addictive. Yeah. Oh, it's frustrating, but it's addictive. Jeez, oh, this does look, uh... I think the demo is available on Steam. Oof. Oh. And it's just a bunch of saws? Yeah. In a room. <laughs> I love it. And it's called yeah. Disc Room. They give you, like, different objectives per each level, like... Right. It's not always survive for this amount of time, it's, you know, do this, do that. Yeah. Mm. Oh, 
kind of like this game called Hyperdot that I've been I just played this morning. It's just like the reverse of a uh, well, it's bullet hell, but you're like not shooting back and just avoiding everything. Ah, uh, yeah, I do like that that spin on bullet hell, the um like dodge hell. Mm, yeah, that's a better word for it. This is nice. What, nice and bamboo? relaxing. Yeah. That's a lot of blood. Yeah. Oh shit. Do you have to hit it? Hit it. It had the secret to the last unannounced game, Ben. <laughs> Probably. I'll track you down. Oh. Oh. Thrust. Thrust into it. That's... Well, howdy, stranger. Wang, ah, where are you? Can you hear me? Again, just the trailer. Yeah. With no I'll track you down. I don't like how it didn't let you use the screen like everything else in this game. Hmm. No, oh, they want to just like, shove oh, you right into that trailer. The, if we started, like, <laughs> you cannot avoid this. I guess the experience was made by Wild Hog as well, wasn't it? So they're like, this is... See our actual game. These always look fun. I need, I need to get around to playing... playing. I don't know why I've never tried. I think I own it. I'm sure I own it. I'm sure I own, I own one and two. Yeah. 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 I've been given away before, I think. Mm. I think if you owned the first one, you got the second one or something like that. Yeah. I mean, that sounds about right. Yeah, this looks really good. Stay Again, just more chaos. <laughs> All these Similar games are very that. red. Very yeah, red. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Similar to Serious Sam, but uh, in a more melee sort of style, or at least combines a little bit of that as well. Yeah. It has more of a consistent turn. Mm. Well, let me shoot him. Now I can take the glove. Aha! You were it's correct. got to be the end, right? Yeah, I mean. Oh. Oh, there's, oh, there is a game. There are three games. Aha. Uh -huh. So wait, you've only done... Three. Um, You're missing one item then? I think or I'm missing two? one item for the second game, yes. Yeah. Interesting that um, it's plastic bags for the third game. Mm. I wonder what that signifies. <laughs> oh. A glove. Cool. What does that do? Enter the VIP zone. Can't. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Does the glove just let you go through doors? Oh. Cube. Wait, Cube what? Glove. It lets me grab stuff. Just jump right. right. What is this dude? Nina. <laughs> So, what can you grab? Oh, it's firing stuff at me. Yeah, like I have to pick things up in the. Oh, shit. It's got its own big gun. I'm trying to hit. Ooh, screens? Maybe? Oh, this t shirt gun. Where it is. Mm, it seems to make him go a little bit funny, doesn't it? Yeah. Unless we've got to hit his little arms. Oh, 
do I miss him? Yeah. You know your own glove screen. Oh, what's yeah, that? I think hitting the screen. Oh yeah, he's got his little health bar at the bottom, doesn't he? Where? Uh, oh yeah. Bar. Yeah, hit the screen. Minus, ooh, minus 50 at 7. Ah. There's got to be something better to be able to hit, isn't there? I need to pick up the t-shirt things after they land or they fade away. Uh, they, they do disappear, ah. but... I mean, there's a billion shares, I think. Yeah. Oh, Keep the disc the back in. Yeah. Oh. Oh. What's that? Should some damage? These are the, these things, oh. he's, um, he fired at me. Oh shit! Yikes! Can I pick that big pole up? No. I died. Oh no. Lay. Oh, oh no. Well, at least you know what you're doing there. Yeah. Hit the screens. Yeah. Pretty much camp up pillar, use up all the things. Move to the next pillar. Yeah. Oh. Gotta watch him. See when he's gonna fire stuff at me, though, haven't I, really? Yeah. This is kind of interminable. Yeah. It does seem like uh, hitting the hitting lower down, like mining in the streams, but hitting the trunk seems to work good. Well. And then you have less danger of harm. Mm. Uh, is it oh. Barrier. Wow, it's blurry. Where's the pillar? The pillar's broken. Over the other side, really. I get, I get that this is a game and they made a game game part of the game, but. Oh, I think you did it. Surely got one more hit. No, no! Fuck you! Oh, ben! Oh, no. It wouldn't let me move! Yeah, it turns out those pillars aren't great. Um, Running out so the only thing right. I can think of that would make me want to like keep up with something like this would be um, finding out what those unannounced game things were. Yes. Which I assume, I mean that's good marketing. Giving a collectible that you then can't do anything about until you do this. Like, trying to run. The controls are not fun. Yeah, it might be worth uh, dodging doesn't... those earlier attacks. 
stuff that you have with pillars or the big Yeah, I mean, the last one. saying that the controls aren't fun yeah. kind of uh, makes me worry for whatever it's called, Shadow Warrior. Yeah, I mean, oh yeah, because this is by the Shadow Warrior guy. I think they would have spent a lot more time on yeah. that. <laughs> yeah, oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah but you would kind of think this would just be like an engine they had on. Yeah. Mm. But I guess this glove, for example, might not be really... That's like, oh, we can do this in our physics engine. Versus, um, this is the main thing in our game, so we tweak it correctly. Oh, come back. Looks like it, yeah. Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah, I think he's dead. Yeah. It only took me three goes, eh? That's not bad. <laughs> pro game in here. That's it. It's the un uninverted controls. Oh, right. Yeah, of course. Now. Do you think there's like a plastic bag behind him? Yeah, where's the collectible? I, I think I must have missed one somewhere. Yeah, you know. It's fine. Ah! Oh, so white. Woo. Oh, and it takes you to... A fake browser. Do you have a mouse on the browser? Can you scroll? Can you... No. Oh, oh. I pressed square. Roading. I think that might be it. That's it. There we go. Wait, but I didn't cool. tell you anything about those. There we go. So you you're just... not going to announce an announced game. So, so the whole point like... was just Where you were collecting other... things to let. So they're saying there are three more games coming. That was the point of that. Yeah. That's frustrating. As all... fuck. Maybe. I'm not a big fan of that. Do you really think they're going to? Oh, here's a trailer for an announced game. I just what I thought. Yeah, I wouldn't was, have thought like, a trailer, these... but we didn't have the space something. to do these three games. In our 45 minute direct. I think they so... had concept art. Yeah, something. I think there was Is that what that final the... screen was, do you think? Yeah, I think there was some yeah. concept art or something. Okay, okay. And you uh, can't go back into it. Someone like PC you. Gamer or something like that, you'll be able to find it on the internet. <laughs> yeah. PC yeah. Gamer or somewhere that does research on the things that are going on. So, yeah. There we go. Yeah, yeah. that's it. That's um, it. That's um, that's the playthrough. Marketing objective complete. Yeah. Um... <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lucy, I'm gonna come to you first. Is there mm. any of these games that really jump out at you, uh, besides the um, Shadow Warrior trailer literally jumping out at you? <laughs> yeah, that was uh, interesting. I need. Uh, it's made me want to go back and play one and two. But yeah, I've I've been looking forward to Disc Room and Carrion. Um, Everything else I pretty much knew about and wasn't sold on it just from seeing the trailer again, so... But yeah. Mm. Well, I guess um, for the YouTube we can now... We'll just wrap around until you get to the carry-on room. We can just watch Ben do the first third of this... Well, 20% of this. Yeah. Um, um, I, I feel... Right oh. I think I feel similarly to you, Lucy, as well. Um, I don't think there was anything uh, from this that, that made me uh, more excited um about kind of what was what was shown or anything like that um i already had things like weird west on my um wish list so a oh, little yeah, bit of a lag it's a really cool thing though it's like the fidelity of it and like for them to put it together yes and they don't didn't really need to like quite honestly it's cool yeah, it, it, it's like a more like a goodwill. Hey, I've got. I still have faith in, in this developer because they are innovating. They're trying new things and they're trying not to yeah. bore us. And what they, what we all realize is, sort of, directs where you're not yet. There's no stages, no people, etc. No one's in the same room as each other. Or inherently more boring. It's like, well, this. Let's try this out. We've obviously yeah. got yeah. a team with a uh, wrapping up game. Got a good engine. Let's do a thing. Um, 
Yeah, I'm the same. To be honest, so I kind of oh. forgot about Weird West, um, which I think is the only one that I kind of... Well, that and Carrie, I think. It's the, this room. This is probably the room that um, speaks most to me, although I might try Shadow Warrior 1 if I mm -hmm. have it. Um, but yeah, the rest of the games seem interesting, but again... Um, which is unusual. Usually in, in years, there's like a couple, oh, yeah, I'm definitely going to try and pick up that Devolver Digital game. And this year, not, none of them really super jump out at me. Uh, like, I'll probably wait for Weird West to get some reviews. Um, Carrie, and I've got to try one of those demos. I'm not as much of a Metroidvania person as you are, Lucy, but this one seems like a really interesting take. Uh, and I kind of just want to reward and the, here again, that animation to tell you about novelness. But yeah, um, super like this idea. Um, I like that it wasn't just a walking simulator. Like there was legitimately a boss fight that was more difficult mm. than you would think, and a platforming bit that sucked until you realized it was secretly a puzzle. Uh, so I mean, yeah, I like that there was act like. Yeah. Legitimate Actual design gameplay. behind this. It yeah. wasn't just, hey, let's throw some assets into the thing and we'll walk through and watch our trailers. Otherwise, I don't think you would. Um, this would be effective, right? Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Interesting point, though. You have to watch the trailers. So well, it's I don't know whether I can come out. Yeah. So I can't come out of this at the moment. Um, I have to watch this trailer. Uh, it did. I, I tried to run, to obviously run through those booths then to get to the door, but. Uh, it wouldn't allow me. It was still locked until I'd watched them, basically. Um, yep. Should we should we wrap up there? Yeah, I think so. Um, I mean, this is exactly where we started awkwardly. Um, so yes. this, <laughs> this has been uh, Ben plays uh, the Volverland Expo in a really weird order. Um, yes. Yeah. With Lucy Nadil as, as back. Um, well, as random back commentary and useful commentary and puzzle advisor, Lucy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, game, uh, yeah, the game advisor, Lucy. <laughs> yeah. We're back um, later today, aren't we? We are. Yeah. yeah. Use uh, to exit. There we go. At eight p.m. BST. BST. Adam. Adam, yes, it does look hectic. Yeah, just saw that too. Um, cool. Well, uh, if you want to see more of our stuff, if you're on our YouTube, don't forget to like, subscribe, ring the bell, or whatever everyone says. Uh, and if you're not, and you, um, you should do that. And also, we're going to be doing more of these noon hour Twitch things, I think, in the coming weeks. Going well. Mm -hmm. Um, yes. So, uh, I've been Adele. I've been uh, and I would Lucy, game puzzler this helper. This is Rafael Colantonio, <laughs> and, and I've been uninverted. And I'm ben. <laughs> today to tell you about ben gaming development. <laughs> weird West. Oh, I want to get out of this Weird West and trailer now, and I can. Well, I'm going to stop recording. Oh, oh, it's all your problem now, Ben. Bye. Yes. <laughs>